welcome to FTB University 1.16 Let's Play Series. This is episode 33? Yeah, quite a bit of episodes, let me tell you. So, on today's list, we are actually going to play around with more of RF tools. And what we're going to play around with is the Crafter Tier 2. We're going to just upgrade that to Tier 2. Modular Storage. Now, this is really cool. It's basically like a downgraded system of applied energistics. <laughs> and I mean a round downgraded system. But it can hold up to, like, I'd say 300 items. I think that's what it's stated. Let me check here. Central Storage. Oops. Oh no, that's a storage scanner. My bad, my bad. Alright, there, where are you? Where, where, where on earth are you? Because your storage, oh, okay, modular storage, here it is. Oh, do I actually need? The modular storage block is used to store items. Depending on the storage module installed, it can hold up to 300 stacks. That's quite a bit. Install a storage mo module by inserting it into the top left slot and the bottom left, then click on the L button to load. Okay. So we're I think we're going to actually need uh, some storage modules, which that's pretty easy to make too. We can actually get that right now. But what I'm going to do with this, since I already have a bunch of like items stored in... Uh, drawers and whatnot. I am actually going to use the storage drawer to put all the rest of miscellaneous items from these chests into the modular storage for now. Because I think that would be a great idea. I wanted to put it in the... Uh, I wanted to replace it. Replace the chest with uh, the modular storage as a buffer, but I realized it would just take in all the items and not spit them out into the drawer controller. So, decided not to do that. Alright. Now... Let's make, uh, let's make the modular storage. Holy cow, that's expensive. This can support 500 stacks, though. That's crazy. So what, how much can this support? 100 stacks? Okay, that's not too bad. What is tier 2? That requires gold. That can do 200, and that's 300, and that's 500. Unless, yeah, that's 300. Okay, so we're going to get up to tier 2 for now. So we're going to need more nether quartz and a redstone, which is right here. And I think I have enough gold nuggets. Yeah, I got plenty of gold nuggets. Let me, uh, let's see. Do, yeah, I want the tier two. I'm going to pop that into the bookmark area. And I'm going to make the first one. It's a tier one storage module. Which that's, that's pretty easy to make. Bam. And then... I'm gonna need gold and another chest. Gold, and we're gonna take one of these chests. Because they're not useful at the moment. Decided to take them all. Alright. Let's see, now we made the tier 2 storage module. I wonder if we could make tier 3, just in case. Let's see what it needs. It just needs block of quartz, block of gold. Do I have enough gold? I don't think I do. I have 15 gold ingots, so no, I do not have enough. We'll just stick with the tier 2 for now. So, we are going to make the module modular storage, which we're going to require even more quartz. It's okay, I got plenty of quartz. For now. Anyways, going to make that, and bam. Now, I don't know if this modular storage needs energy or not. So we're going to just pop it down and see what happens. Um, we're going to put this modular in there. How do I do that? Yep, there we go. And then you can also put a filter in here too. That way you can filter out items. Okay, yeah, you definitely need a source of power. So what I'm going to do is... Is there any items in there? Yeah, there is. Um... Here we go. I'm actually going to move it right here. Right there. And then I'm going to figure out where that area is. Which is actually right there. That was a good guess. <laughs> so we're going to need a advanced universal cable. Let's see if it's in my... Around. 
around here? Let's see. Maybe I should read the signs. That's why I put them there in the first place. Uh, let's see. Logical transporter. Yes. Actually, no. That's not what I need. I need energy. Pressurized two. Mechanical pipe. Thermodynamic. Do I not have... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, perfect. That's exactly what I need. I have one left. Then we're going to use it and then pop him down. There you go. Now I should have energy in there. I think. Lock the storage to access the items. Lock the storage? Uh. Okay, so I can now put stuff in there? Neat! There you go! That's pretty easy. So I could actually put all of this stuff in here. Like, um... Actually, we'll start off with the items I have in here now. Like this, this... Actually, I'm gonna need that. I'm actually gonna need all of this. But I will definitely put the items in there off, off cam, definitely. <laughs> so... Okay. Now that we made that... We're going to make the crafter tier 2, which is actually pretty easy. It's just a crafter tier 1 in the same recipe to make crafter tier 2. Now that I did that, and oh, oh my. They give you a tier 4 storage. I didn't even look at that. So I now have that in there. Can I put another? No, I cannot, but I could definitely like make another block. That's super cool. Okay. Well, I don't necessarily need the tier 4 storage module right now. I will just put that bad boy in there for now. Alright. Now I made the crafter tier 2. Just pop him right there. And it also remember the recipe from the tier 1 block I made in the last episode. So, that's excellent. Alright. Now we got that. Let's see, uh, what was I gonna do? Let's see, not that, not that, not that, not that. And I was just gonna make this basic uh, wire from RF Tools Utility. It's a very simple, like, free redstone wire. Can only do straight lines, but it also keeps its uh, strength, too. So you can actually... Hold on in here. Make the machine base actually is quite expensive and then I need one more redstone I'm probably never gonna make these again I'm just kind of completing the quest there we go and made it look at that I now have made it and I get six machine bases in that cool and I don't get anything for tier 3 or anything for tier okay well tier 2 or anything for tier 3 that's what I meant so yeah, that was actually, um, that was pretty much it. <laughs> like, this is probably one of the quicker, quickest, uh, I've been. So, during that time, I'm actually going to move all of this stuff in here. It's, might as well, right? Hey, a little bit of time. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, well, I definitely want my stuff back. <laughs> eh. Smart wrench. Uh, keep that, keep that, keep that. Keep, keep that. I want my brown toolbox for sure. That's pretty much what I need, right? Oh, and the portable transporter. So yeah, you can definitely just click on this button and it will just put all the, all the items in there. So what I can do is uh, put this in a random chest for now. And then just take all the items, like this. And then, bam. Look at that. Excellent. Yes, yes indeed. Oh, give me all the items, might as well. Look at that, yes. <laughs> and it, I have about 74 stacks. So far. And that's just from two chests. That's not too bad. I feel like it's gonna get filled up pretty quickly though. So I might have to make another one. Who knows? 
Maybe, maybe not. I do have a quite a bit of, like, random items. Up to 115. Yeah. Alright, and... Here we go. How many stacks? 134. Not bad so far. Not bad so far. That's gonna be the worst, is this, but honestly, I might just separate those into drawer storages. Okay, well, this episode is going far too long. Um, please like and subscribe, because uh, I make uh, YouTube videos every Friday. Um, I also live stream on Twitch on Thursdays and Fridays. On Thursdays, I pretty much paint miniatures that I 3D printed, so if you just want to come and chat it up, it's cool. Fridays, I kind of just play any random game. Right now, I'm currently playing a lot of Fortnite. I enjoy that game a lot. So, uh, I also live stream from 8 to 10 PST, so if you want to come and join me and talk to me and do all that shenanigans, by all means, stop on by, alright? You all have a good night, and stay safe, please.